All right, good afternoon. Uh, just a reminder that on Monday at 10 a.m. in the General Assembly Hall, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, will present his priorities for the year uh, to the General Assembly. This the remarks will be live on web TV. And as a reminder for you, at 2 o'clock in this room, uh, there'll be a background briefing uh, on the remarks. Um, the Deputy Secretary General, Mina Mohammed, concluded her trip uh, to Rome and to Vatican City. Uh, today she met with the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, who is also the Deputy Prime Minister, Antonio Tajani. In the meeting, it was announced that Italy would host the UN Food Summit stock-taking moment, which will take place uh, in Rome from the 24th to the 26th of July. The aim of the high-level meeting is to provide opportunities for countries to report on progress made at the national level since the UN Food System Summit in 2021, as well as their contributions to the achievement of the 2030 Agenda. Ms. Mohammed also met today with the Undersecretaries for multi Multilateral Affairs and the Holy See, with whom she discussed the importance of multilateralism and the need for the UN to remain the global town hall for a global village. They expressed that the UN must continue to give a voice to all. The Deputy Secretary General also met with the leaders of the UN Rome-based agencies, and those are the Food and Agricultural Organization, the World Food Program, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development, otherwise known as IFAD. Uh, on Ukraine, our humanitarian colleagues are updating us uh, and told us that yesterday an interagency convoy of five trucks delivered medication, materials for emergency shelter repairs, toolkits, hygiene items, and solar lamps to the Zaporizhia region in the southeast of the country. The supplies are intended for people in the Ulaipole community, where around 3,000 people remain close to the front lines. They're exposed to uh, the reg regular shelling and their access to basic services is obviously very much disrupted. Since March of last year, the residents have had no electricity as power stations were damaged by fighting and cannot be repaired due to the ongoing hostilities. Because there is no power, uh, water facilities cannot operate and water has to be delivered in bottles or pumped from wells. Tools for emergency repairs are urgently needed for the damaged homes as the harsh winter is uh, upon us, or upon them, rather. The supplies are being provided by the International uh, Organization for Migration, uh, UNICEF, the UN Refugee Agency, and the World Health Organization, with support from local community representatives and volunteers. It's distributed directly to the people in need. This is the second convoy this uh, week to reach communities in acute need at the front lines after a first convoy reached the Donetsk region on the 31st of last month. The Food and Agriculture Organization today uh, released its um, monthly food price index for January, and they said that world food commodity prices declined in January for the 10th consecutive month. The FAO food price index averaged 131.2 points in January. That's 0.8 percent lower than the previous month. Uh, that's December of 2022. The Food and Agriculture Organization says that low domestic prices could result in small cutbacks in wheat plantings in the Russian Federation, the world's largest exporter, while, civil, while severe war-induced impacts in Ukraine were estimated to reduce winter wheat area planting by about 40 percent. Um, turning to South Sudan, our peacekeeping mission there uh, is welcoming the arrival of His Holiness Pope Francis um, today as an opportunity uh, to provide much related boost to the peace process. The mission urges national authorities to take this opportunity to consolidate uh, peace and redouble their efforts towards the full implementation of the peace deal, underscoring that this will in turn pave the way for free, fair, and credible elections led by the South Sudanese. Uh, the, price, the special representative of the Secretary General, Nicholas Hasem, said the visit by the Pope and the leaders of the Anglican and Presbyterian churches will, also, will focus the attention on the country at a time when South Sudan's challenges are less visible due to other regional and international crises. During his four-day visit, the Pope will meet with internally displaced people and humanitarian organizations. And UNMIS is uh, providing logistical uh, support. The turning to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, our Assistant Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Joyce Musuya, uh, will visit uh, the DRC from the 5th to the 10th of February. 
to spotlight the dire and deteriorating humanitarian crisis. Ms. Masui will be joined in part uh, on her mission by Matthew Dims, a deputy assistant uh, of the Bureau of Humanitarian Assistance for the U.S. Agency for International Development, better known as USAID. They will hold talks with top officials of the Democratic Republic of Congo and humanitarian organizations in Kinshasa. They will also travel to the east to meet people most impacted by the ongoing crisis. Ms. Masuya will also meet with government leaders, the diplomatic community, and NGO representatives in Kinshasa and Goma to discuss the drivers of humanitarian needs and how to address them. Um, you just a quick note on some new partnerships. Uh, you will recall that our initiatives called Football for the Goals launched in July of last year. Today, the initiative reached 125 members with the European Club Association as its newest member. Football for the Goals provide a platform to mobilize the global football community, uh, soccer that is, uh, to champion action around achieving the sustainable development goals and further implement the SDGs into their own business practices. The European Club Association represents 245 football clubs throughout Europe, and it joins a diverse membership of confederations, leagues, clubs, players, unions, foundations, and NGOs from over 48 countries. More uh, information at un.org slash football for the goals. Tomorrow, we mark the International Day of Human Fraternity, which celebrates the values of compassion, religious understanding, and mutual respect. In his message on the occasion, the Secretary General notes that these values underwrite peace and are the glue that holds our human family together. Although all over the world, they are being eroded by deepening divides, widening inequalities, and growing despair. He underscores that it is the duty of religious leaders everywhere to prevent instrumentalization of hatred and diffuse extremism amidst their followers and called to build an alliance of peace, of peace rich in diversity, equal in dignity, and rights and human united in solidarity. Uh, and today, uh, on the last day of this week, we, um, we honor uh, Belgium, which paid its regular budget dues uh, in full, joining the honor roll, which now has 26 members. And if we were in Belgium, we would say bedankt, merci, and what is the third official language of Belgium? Three, three official languages. German, danke, oh sorry, was that? Flemish, yeah. <laughs> Good try. Uh, Edie. Uh, thank you, Steph. Uh, two questions. First, um, does the Secretary General have any reaction to the arrest in Kabul yesterday of um, Professor Ismail Mashal, who is an outspoken supporter of girls' education as he was handing out free books? Yeah, it's a very concerning uh, development. Uh, the professor should be released uh, immediately. Uh, this is just yet another sign of the uh, of, of the the backsliding, shall we say, uh, that we are seeing in um, in Afghanistan with the de facto authorities, especially on issues of um, of education for women and girls. Um, my second question is, does the Secretary General have um, any comment about um, this Chinese high-altitude balloon that's uh, sailing over the American West at the moment? Well, I mean, we, we have no information beyond what uh, we see in the press in the U.S. or we see in the press in China, so I have no comment on that particular thing. Uh, except to, to say that obviously we uh, we, we want uh, we would not want to see sit a situation where tensions uh, are would be increasing between uh, Washington and Beijing. Madame. Thanks, Steph. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if you have any uh, information about who might be briefing on Ukraine on Monday. In the Security Council? Yeah. Uh, no, but hopefully people in my office who are listening will find out before the show ends here. Okay, thanks. Yes, Deji, and then... Uh, uh, the the we'll food see. price index has mm -hmm. been 
decreased for the tenth month, right? So which means the the Black Sea Green Deal and other things they worked. Uh, I remember last August, the Secretary General also launched another plea. I think that he urged all the、um, governments to to get tax from from the pro profitable、um, energy companies.、Mm -hmm. Uh, because because recently I saw multiple、uh, news stories about the record high profit yeah, from those seen, companies. Indeed, I just、indeed. want to know the development of that that plea. Well, I mean, obviously it's not as if the Secretary General has any authority over tax、uh, taxation in, in in member states.、Um, He did.、Uh, he did make the call that you you said he did about、uh, national authorities taxing,、uh, and we we hope it happens. We've seen it in some countries,、uh, but we we do not keep the data. I mean, I don't have the data of where it's where、uh, where they've been happening places、uh, in more places, some places more than than others. Though we we've seen that it has、um, th those windfall taxes have been put in place in a number of.、Uh, Of important countries, Dulce.、Uh, yeah,、um, just two things. So、uh, I just want to be clear:、uh, had the Taliban exempted the World Food Program to allow Afghan women to work? I think. Or is, is the, it my, pretty my much ad hoc? My, my, my understanding. First of all, a couple of things to keep in mind. One is that. It appears that the rules are being uh, implemented uh, in different places, different ways, in different places throughout Afghanistan.、Uh, my understanding is that the UN、uh, is exempt、uh, from this ban on、uh, female humanitarian workers uh, working.、Um, as to the detailed operationalization on how that happens with World Food Program, I would advise them, advise you to talk to them even here. They have an office here. Okay, but th they actually say that you're the only one who can speak on this. <laughs> the we'll、email. check with them. We'll make sure they speak to you. I, I, and and、yep. what is the status of Jean-Pierre Lacroix's contract? Jean-Pierre Lacroix is、uh, working with the full support of the full confidence, obviously, of the Secretary General.、Uh, I I don't know what what his what the status of his contract is. Well, I'm just asking about his term. Yeah, yeah, no,、It's、I I, I don't、years. know off the top of my head. I can try to find out. I just okay, thanks. Okay. Yvonne, thanks, Stefan. So,、um, I, my question is about the Economist Intelligence Unit's Democracy Index, which you may have seen was published yesterday. And、uh, topping the list in Asia is Taiwan, and they rank tenth globally in terms of the the Democracy Index ranking. So, my question is: Given Taiwan's democratic credentials, does the Secretary General think that it deserves a place at the United Nations? Look, the, 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 The UN's policy towards China is guided、uh, by the 1972-73、uh, General Assembly on、um, on the One China policy, and that's that's our position. Okay, but my question is about Taiwan. No, I, I understand. I, I, but that's 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 my answer to your question. Okay.、And、can I ask one quick follow-up? You may on something、uh, related but different about the balloon.、Um, Does the Secretary General feel that、uh, it is a shame for for the U.S. to cancel the visit,、uh, Secretary Blen Blinken's visit to China this week? Well, it's, it's far be it from the Secretary General uh, uh, to uh, to opine on on that. But I, I mean, going, I think I、uh, who who asked about it, or, or I think Edie asked about it. As a general rule, we are concerned with、um, whenever there are heightened tensions、uh, between China and and the U.S. And this is this is a theme that the Secretary General has often referred to、um, in various speeches, most lately I think in、uh, in Davos.、Um, but on this particular incident, obviously the two will have to、uh, to navigate it. But given the 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 global leadership position of both countries.、Uh, I think it is it is incumbent on them to do whatever they can to lower tensions.、Uh, Martin Griffiths is the answer to your question,、oh, but you had I assume you、Another、had a different、one. question. Yes,、um, and I'm sorry if you've been asked or another spokes has been asked this already, but I, I don't recall it.、Um, does the Secretary General have any reaction to?、Um, The announcement that more tanks will be going to Ukraine.、Um, 
we know Western nations are very concerned about an uptick in violence come spring and Ukraine's ability to defend itself. Um, um, you know, but there are those that see this as escalating the conflict as well. Does, has the Secretary General any opinion on that? Well, I mean, this is a question we get asked uh, regularly every time there are new weapons uh, come into the theater of war. Um, our concern is about what we've seen, and which is a continued escalation of this conflict. What we want to see, what the Secretary General wants to see, is a, is a just peace based on the Charter of the UN, based on international law. Uh, our work is focused right now on the humanitarian as we update you regularly. Uh, he has also been very active on issues relating to the grain, uh, export of uh, Ukrainian grain, export of Russian, uh, uh, of Russian uh, wheat and, and, and fertilizer to try to, to minimize the, da the damage that this war is causing, not only the people uh, in Ukraine, but also uh, to the global economy and the world at large. Yeah. Toshinaba from Kyoto News, thank you. Um, uh, about the one year anniversary of uh, the war in Ukraine, uh, what's the uh, SG plan on that anniversary? Any activity? Well, that I, I, my from? understanding um, is that there may be meetings of some of the legislative bodies of this organization, whether it's Security Council or General Assembly. Uh, the Secretary General may, may appear at, at one of those. Um, but you don't but have anything else that. Confirmed. No, no, uh, no surprise in our back pocket, if that's what you were alluding to. Um, speaking of surprises, uh, Paulina, your turn. And remember, 2 o'clock uh, for the briefing in this room.